Okay, so something about arrival at camp. So when setting up camp, there's a like number of criteria that I always have in my mind, but I'm not thinking about them. So it's like going by gut feeling. It's like looking at the land, seeing whether, feeling where the sun is now, where the wind is now, observing, like not observing consciously, but like knowing how the wind has been during the whole day and knowing where the sun will shine at tomorrow morning. And so you might choose a slope in certain directions. And it's really like, you know, the whole thing is not about building a camp, right? Usually I don't, you know, I don't unpack my tarp and my, um, my sleeping place before I need it. So I don't put up the camp first thing, like the sleeping place first thing when I arrive. So when I find a place that feels, oops, that feels about right, I start cruising around. You know, I take my bucket, I have a foldable bucket. And this foldable bucket is like really like you know, a good thing. So I have like my foldable bucket and my little bag with my water bottle, first aid, you know, that little kind of pouchy thing. And also depending a bit how far I go away. So usually when I put down, when I find a place, I think, like, yeah, that will be good. Then I go around and have a look. Maybe I find something in the vicinity, something nearby. Oh no, I do something that is usually not on YouTube. Mm. Excuse me. <laughs> so uh, I don't know if you heard that. So you should always should never say uh, excuse me because then nobody can pretend that they didn't hear it. <laughs> but I guess you heard anyhow. So uh, I start walking around the area and so like like look if I find something that is like you know even nicer that somehow where I feel more drawn to what's you know what feels even nicer and when I'm on this kind of cruise walking around I like also when I see a place where like yeah that might be good then I start scanning like really more consciously like the area like getting to know the resources right like looking okay there is a dead standing tree that might be good if I need to as firewood which I, I don't collect these. I don't, I, I use I use a twig stove, right? I use a twig stove, that's like kind of my, yeah, they're just really good. Like twig stoves, like easy to make and beautiful examples are there to buy also. Like I think it's it's an investment to consider. And yeah, I, the IKEA, check I, IKEA hobo stove. That's a really good one. You just need to be really sure that the place where you use it is like dry, but I can make another one about Twig stoves. Um, Kleinen Moment, ich mach gerade ein Video, Ilja. Hast du Zucker dabei? Nee, ich mach gerade ein Video. Ich komm gleich. So, uh, <laughs> they're making camp over there. Um, and yeah, we just found lots of um, Carpalo, what is Carpalo? Um, like this is a nice thing this time of the year. You find these, you know, berries from the autumn. I don't know what they are called in English. No need to know the name. It's like these ones. Mm. Mm. So nice, and we're gonna smash them with a bit of ice cream. Uh, well, ice, snow. <laughs> um, let's see. Maybe find something sweetish that we can put them. Oh, uh, they won't. Anyhow, doesn't matter. So, and then I walk around and just collect twigs, look for berries, look for water, fill up my bucket. And that's also something when you have this foldable bucket, basically just a bag, right? You can, it's, it's like foldable bucket um, that allows you to camp further away from water sources. And usually water sources like when we camp a bit further away from them. Um, there are several reasons for it, like the, the routes to the water get more diverse, so it's like less impact, people, it's like more area spread over and less impact, so it's like, you know, yeah, it feels somehow like that. The other thing is that the foldable bucket, um, like the distance to the water makes sure that you can have, my, or that I can have my camp in a place that also I don't spoil the water sources, right, when I wash or so. And you can get to really nice places with a view, right? Like when you always look for like, you want to camp near the water, then you might not be able to camp at places that are really nice. Like, you know, that you might feel like, oh, I have to sacrifice, I need to be near the water. Uh, it's really like good to be a bit further away from the water. So anyhow, 
Um, yeah, and then the camp. I mean, there is like so many YouTube videos out there like explaining um, how to build a camp and there's like so many different ways to do it. And I mean, I can say my criteria, right? I can share my criteria and, and if somebody wants to know, like, you know, please make a video where you show how to put up a tarp or um, just show us your sleeping setup or so. Like, I, yeah, um, well, I can walk you through it. Um, not now, not here. So let me know if you want to hear that. And otherwise, uh, yeah, that was a bit of a brabble. I don't know, is that brabble? Is that a word? <laughs> oh, it feels so weird to talk to this piece of plastic, but I just imagine you sitting there and don't know who you are and wonder what's going on in your mind. What is your day like? And what are you passionate about, right? What is what's your dream what's your why why are you here right. yeah thank you have good times bye bye